Hey, hey, people, I'm live in Guelph, Guelph, Ontario. Welcome, everyone. It's 2.15 Wednesday, June 28th. It's a sunny but smoky day. The smoke has descended over southern Ontario again. It's not overly hot today, but... It's warm enough. So, welcome everyone to the hometown of Megan. So I'm currently in downtown Guelph. I just got off the GO train here at the Guelph Central GO station. And I'll be taking a little walk around downtown Guelph. We'll check it out. And then I'll start making my way across town towards where Megan lives. Megan is, is working, so she can't come and meet up with me right yet. But I'll just go to her, basically. So I see we got a nice little crowd in the chat here. Epic Play Toronto, how's it going? Parjot, hello Bilal and Vivian Johnson. Hey Scott Briggs, what's up? Alan Kay. Hey Andy Wood, hello, hello. Yeah Andy, this is where Megan lives. Hey. Shavabalan, what's up? Smitty? Schnurchik, I've been in your town, that's right. Whitby Dude. Darren Ross, hello, hello. We got some smoke here today in Guelph, Darren. The smoke has come back. My apologies if I missed anyone. I think there was one person at the very beginning whose name I couldn't quite make out. I think it was actually Estelle. Hello, Estelle. All right. Hey, Jeanette Morales. Hello. All right. I got a kind of a heavy bag to carry around with me. That's kind of a bummer. It's very bright. I'll do my best to see the chats. It's going to be a bit tricky though. There you can see the old historic train station. This thing is never open though. It's closed right now. Like closed in the middle of a Wednesday afternoon. You cannot go inside that station. I think in all the times I've been to Guelph, I've only seen it open one time. I'm not sure what is up with that. And here's the Guelph Transit Center, where all the transit buses and the GO buses. I'll stop here. Jeff 13 Brew, hello, hello. Hey, Miguel. Kevin Hawthorne, good afternoon. I've been to Guelph a few times before for videos and a couple of live streams. But maybe to some of you this is new, <laughs> a place you've never seen. Hey, visit it. How you doing? Jean G. Sirowick, hello.
So Guelph is about an hour's drive west of Toronto. On the GO train it took about an hour and a half because the train stops frequently. And the one-way fare with a Presto card was about $13. There's some Guelph Transit buses. Super bright out here, holy moly. So I'm in town because Megan's brother is getting married. So that starts today and it goes through till Friday. So I'll be in Guelph today and tomorrow, and then on Friday we're going to Hamilton. And here's where you get dropped off if you take the GO bus from Toronto, it stops right there. But if you're catching a GO bus going to Toronto, you catch it over here. <laughs> yeah, I got everything I need in this bag here. Hey Davey, how you doing? Well, the sky doesn't look too bad. It just looks like a regular blue sky, but Things are hazy when you look off at distant objects. It was really noticeable in Toronto when we were pulling out of uh, the city on in the GO train. You could barely make out the skyline from certain vantage points where normally you'd have an awesome view of the skyline. You could barely even see it. Waiting to cross this very long light here. Hey, I think I saw a super chat pop in. It's hard to read though. Clearly not woke. Four ninety nine pound super sticker. Thank you. Thank you very kindly. Oh, and I just missed the light too. Holy cow! That didn't give me much of a chance to cross now did it <laughs> but thank you very much clearly not woke for the uh, awesome support I'm just gonna cross light be darned <laughs> there's a neat little fountain I'm just wondering if there's any shade I can actually <laughs> walk around in here. <laughs> Unlike Toronto, there's not really many tall buildings to uh, provide shade when you're walking around downtown. <laughs> there are a few high-rises here and there, but they're rather spaced out. <laughs> hey, Raja Patel, hello, hello. We are in Guelph, the Royal City, that's right, the nickname of Guelph is the Royal City. It's 
So there are two main streets in downtown Guelph that intersect with one another. This is one of them. This is McDonald Street. Yeah, I don't think I'll have time in Hamilton to do anything video-wise. But I've already done it. I'm in the Guelph Financial District, yeah. <laughs> Hey Jacqueline, hello. You can see the big cathedral off in the distance. That's sort of like the landmark of downtown Guelph. It's my favorite area in Guelph. Well, the only area that's even interesting at all is downtown Guelph, so this is it right here. Downtown Guelph, or the old neighborhoods immediately around downtown Guelph. All right, so here's the main intersection in downtown. So this is Wyndham Street, where it intersects with McDonald. Got lots of patios set up and whatnot. Lots of Old, charming buildings. Hello, Clara. How you doing? Ah, oh, here's some shade. Ah, oh, finally. I wish I didn't have to carry this bag around. Crows and Ravens, yeah, I am in Guelph. It can get pretty lively in downtown Guelph. There is a big student population. The University of Guelph is in the city and a lot of bars and restaurants in downtown Guelph. Probably a lot more than you would expect actually for the size of the city. Probably one of only a couple of cities in Ontario that could truly be referred to as a college town, like when you think of a traditional U.S. college town. We don't really have a lot of those in Canada. But well, probably is one of the closest things to that in Ontario. Kingston also. as we say in Canada, university town. <laughs> hey, Michael Wynn, hello, hello. Leona, yeah. 
can't even go inside the uh, train station even if there were lockers there. It's all locked. There's a little square. This is sort of like the main square for events that take place downtown. You'll sometimes see live bands playing here and that sort of thing. Hey, Dave and Bangor, Maine. Hey, Noble Koss. It's very bright out. <laughs> Extremely bright, I would say. And I don't really smell much smoke or anything. It seemed much more noticeable in Toronto than it does here. Got a pretty cool fountain over there. Hey, John Burke. Hello, hello. Joe Smith. Hey, Christos, hello. Let's go check out the fountain. You have to watch out a lot more for cars walking around in Guelph. Pedestrians do not outnumber motorists in the downtown area. <laughs> Holding a little baby up. Yeah, things don't get happening with the uh, wedding until this evening, so I have time now to do this. Hey, Candle, hello. T Dot, what's up? Open Bob. Yeah, the water is a very interesting shade of green. <laughs> very interesting. <laughs> The old Quebec Street Mall is across the street. Yeah, there's lots of charm in downtown Guelph. It just has a, a very old town charming look to it. Limestone buildings. Just a nice looking place. Cindy Randall, hello, welcome. Welcome to Guelph. Exciting downtown Guelph. Ah, uh, more shade.
And this is a really fast growing uh, place right now because it's close enough to Toronto. Get a lot of people commuting into the city. So tons of residential growth. The population is growing every year. I think it's it's like 150,000 or around there. Maybe 130 something. It changes so fast. <laughs> and Kitchener is just a bit further west. That's a, a bigger city. Kitchener Waterloo. And they're very close together. Waterloo, home of the Blackberry. I just watched a movie recently called Blackberry where Waterloo actually gets to play itself. Hey Mace, yeah, my girlfriend Megan's brother is getting married. <laughs> That's right, angled parking, right? That's like an old timey thing. More historic looking Moncton, yeah. <laughs> I'd say way more charming and historic than Moncton. Looking, anyway. Hey, thanks, Mace. Hey, Dan, hello. There's a fair amount of like mid-rise construction popping up around downtown Guelph. There was at least one tower crane that I noticed downtown. It's like this place is still going. It looks sort of run down, but Guelph Concert Theater, but they do have some shows coming up here. Social Distortion. Unless that sign is like super old from years ago. I just see July 21st and I'm thinking, oh, that's coming up. But maybe that was July 21st, 2010 for all we know. <laughs> It doesn't look like it's still in use. <laughs> I'll have to look at my last video from Guelph to see if the sign is still the same. <laughs> 1926, yeah. <laughs> Is Social Distortion still even playing shows? <laughs> that would give us a clue. <laughs> used to be a movie theater. Yeah, it definitely has that look. I have to say, right now, the air seems perfectly fine to me. I don't smell any smoke at all. There's a nice breeze blowing and it just seems fresh, feels fresh to me, but I might be wrong. Looks like I can't go here. What are we in Toronto? This closed sidewalk here? What's going on? In Guelph, no sidewalk goes un unobstructed. Still playing shows, Scott? All right, thanks. <laughs> thanks for the confirmation. Can I cross here? Oh, the 
this person is letting me go across. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm back in the bright sunlight. Oh no. Yeah, it seems clean to me, Joe, but I might, you know, I might not just be able to notice the pollution. Like this whole street is being dug up here. There's a vintage store. I'm sure Megan knows all about this store. She probably keeps them in business. <laughs> All right, let's get back this way again. We're kind of wandering away from downtown in a way that I don't want to go. Hey Nancy Mattis, hello hello. I am in Guelph. Megan's town. Although she would deny that. Guelph Transit. Can I cross here? Jeepers, creepers. I'm just going. I'm taking my chance. Two seven four seven two seven. If I read that correctly. <laughs> hey Wesley, hello. Sage Soap Company. Hey, Peter. Some more mid-rise residential buildings. One of these is pretty new. Just built in the last few years. Card. Engage. Hey, once upon a city. Hello, hello. 
Welcome to Guelph, Ontario. This is a great old building. Established 1862, but then rebuilt in 1875. I wonder what happened. Maybe they had a fire or something. And I think Guelph was founded in the early 19th century. I think John Galt is the guy who is credited as the founder. And there used to be another city nearby called Galt. But that was renamed to Cambridge. But people still call that old part of it Galt. That's the biggest, oldest part of Cambridge. Cambridge is made up of three towns that got amalgamated together. Galt, Hespeler, and Preston. Nice shade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, not quite, right, Noble Cost? I'm starting to feel the heat now. The sun is pretty unrelenting. I think there's shade on the other side. Let's go to the shady side. This is Quebec Street, so this leads to the mall again. Where the mall is now, it used to be just the street, but then they ended up building a mall kind of over top of old Quebec Street. And that mall is not doing so hot. Like a lot of downtown malls in small cities, kind of was successful for maybe about 20 years and then it's been downhill ever since <laughs> ah shade hey Robert Sanderwall hello hello and hello Harold how you doing Is that right, Scott? That's interesting. Some nice old storefronts. The Lovely Company. <laughs> A fine yarn store. Lady Glaze Donuts. So yeah, you'll find lots of interesting shops, you know? The kind of shops that you normally wouldn't find in a more typical small city.
Yeah, lots of mom and pop stores for sure, yeah. We're back at the downtown square and the fountain. And Guelph is known for being fairly progressive in keeping with its university town reputation. I think it's the only city in Ontario that has a MPP from the Green Party, or is it an MP? One or the other. One of their elected representatives is a Green Party member. I think the only one in Canada, maybe? Oh, let's just see if it's air conditioned inside here. And there's Muzak, of course. <laughs> But here you can see old Quebec Street. They recreated the old storefronts of what, you know, the street might have looked like. I'm sure it's not really that accurate, but they just sort of keep the appearance of an old street as it once was, once upon a time. <laughs> so this is the old Quebec Street Mall. But you know what? It's not even air conditioned in here. And it actually feels hotter in here than it does outside. So I am going back outside. <laughs> Not to mention the Muzak. <laughs> oh yeah, much better out here. Ugh. You've been to Toronto and Oakville twice. Oh hey, why not make it a third time? It's the MPP, thanks, Whitby dude. I wasn't sure if it was federal or provincial. Walking in downtown Guelph, we're walking. That guy has a booming voice. Yeah. <laughs> Lots of shops. Now the patch. Pony boy vapes. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll do it for Pony Boy. No, we'll do it for Johnny. Right, Pony Boy? <laughs> Wimpy's Diner. <laughs> Brothers Brewing. <laughs> I'm gonna keep on walking past the Muzak. See, even in Guelph, I can't get away from the Muzak. It just follows me everywhere. Hello. <laughs> Some friendly locals. <laughs> mm. 
And we're back at the main intersection in downtown Guelph. Beautiful downtown Guelph. Hey, Loretta, hello. If I'm reading that right. <laughs> like I said, it's very bright. Reading chats, not easy. Yeah, they have Muzak and Guelph, that's right. But no dinguses yet. I did encounter a dinga, a ding, a dingas, <laughs> a dingus in Guelph though in a previous live stream inside a shopper's drug mart store. <laughs> Hello, Lena. How you doing? Seems appropriate that those motorcycle guys are playing Roadhouse Blues by the doors very loud from their motorcycles. It seems appropriate, wouldn't you say? <laughs> <laughs> Carl Roth, right? <laughs> you missed the word dingus? Well, oh, you used the word dingus. Okay, good. I was going to say, if you miss it, just watch my stream. You'll hear it all the time. <laughs> I wonder if I'm personally responsible for repopularizing the word dingus. Maybe it was sort of dying off. But I brought it back to life. That's right. An Italian restaurant. Rock Affair. Well, that's a vape store, though. Not a music store. But there's a music store across the street, Royal Cat Records. And I see over here, Killer Cupcakes. That's pretty cool. Our cupcakes are killer. Crafty Ramen. <laughs> and lots of little side streets that just have cute storefronts. Hey, Mike Landry is in the house. It's a $5 super chat. Hello, Ken and everyone in the chat. Welcome, Mike, and thank you very much for the $5 super. That puts an extra spring in my step as I lug around this stupid heavy bag. <laughs> I knew I was going to be doing this, but I thought, uh, I'll just deal with it. And I am dealing with it, but it's still a drag, man. <laughs> Why did I have to bring so much stuff? I thought I wasn't bringing a lot of stuff. I mean, it's literally just this bag, but it's mostly all my tech gear that makes it heavy. And my, my toiletries. <laughs> my can of shaving cream alone probably adds a pound to it.
in the Albion Hotel. It's a local landmark here in downtown. Speaking of landmarks, here's the biggest one. Basilica of Our Lady Immaculate. You can see that thing from all over Guelph. There's a look right down McDonald Street. I see we got over 200 people watching. Nice. Thank you, everyone, for checking out the stream on a Wednesday afternoon. Not my usual streaming time. Hey, Brett Mallon. Hello, hello. <laughs> That's right, they're matching. <laughs> so we've covered most of downtown Guelph. There are a few streets here and there that I didn't get, but I think I'm going to start the journey over to Megan's side of town now. So we'll be walking through some residential areas. She lives basically on the very western edge of Guelph. <laughs> like, her subdivision is next to farmland, basically. So I'm going to walk, you know, from downtown to basically the, the boonies of Guelph. Oh, I missed the super from Nancy. Oh, thank you very much. I did not see it go by. Let me go back here. There it is. Nancy Mattis, five bucks. Say hello to, whoops, it went away again. <laughs> Say hello to Picard in your usual way. <laughs> you know, I did already, Nancy, but I can do it again. <laughs> Engage, whoop, 9.9. .9. <laughs> Thank you very much for the uh, five bucks, Nancy. I appreciate it. Thanks for letting me know I missed that super. If that happens again, definitely do the same because chances are I might miss something or other as we walk along in this bright ass sunlight. Can't see a darn thing. All right, so here's Paisley Street. The street goes 
all the way across the city pretty much. So another one last look into downtown Guelph. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Picard. Mr. Korsha, warp 9, engage. Hey, there's the Guelph Public Library. I've been in there before with Megan. And I think her brother works there, if I'm not mistaken. The one who's getting married. Look at this, the shops at Paisley. That's kind of cool. There's a bookstore over there. Hey, afternoon, John. Hunter Stewart, yeah, I'm here to attend M Megan's brother's wedding. Darn hills! I might have to switch hands. Put the bag in the other hand and the gimbal also. Go to the other side though. It's shadier there. Hey, dopey tripod. Hello, hello. <laughs> That's right. Hit that like button. And the subscribe button too. It feels pretty hot now. Hard enough, that's for sure. Ah, shade. Good. Hey, Devin Sullivan, yeah, I'm carrying a heavy bag full of all kinds of junk, all kinds of crap. Let's see if I can schlep this thing across Guelph. I'll challenge myself. Challenge accepted. Can I schlep this heavy bag across Guelph? Hey, I just saw another super chat. Hey, good afternoon, Ant-Man. Nancy Mattis, another $2. This thing is getting hot out here. <laughs> is that the one that says, take off all your clothes? It's getting hot out here, so take off all your clothes. I wouldn't mind doing that, to be honest, but <laughs> thank you very much once again, Nancy. Oh, 
102 likes. Thank you, Mace, for the update. How many kilometers? Oh, I don't know, maybe... Maybe six, six kilometers, maybe. It's a good hour's walk. Maybe even more than an hour. That hot here? Yeah, it feels like it. 23? Okay, it feels hotter than that. Look at, we're on Dublin Street, and now here's Glasgow Street. And I'm pretty sure there's a, a Liverpool Street just over this way. We got all the UK and Ireland cities all clustered here. Let's go over to Liverpool Street, and I'll take that instead of Paisley. Because I have walked along Paisley a bunch of times already. With Megan and other videos. But I've never walked along Liverpool Street. Liverpool, you know, the home of the Beatles. Let's go over to Liverpool Street. Sounds good, let's check it out. We're forming a band, you know. Hey, Randall. Time for that open bar. <laughs> Here's Oxford Street, another UK city, right? Dan, no, I'm staying overnight in Guelph. And actually staying overnight again. And then on Friday, we're heading to Hamilton. Today is a kind of like a... Oh, I'm getting a signal notification, of course. We can't have stable internet in the core of a major Ontario city. All right, here is Liverpool Street. We're in Liverpool. Liverpool. 200 miles northwest of London. Growing up in Liverpool, the future was no brighter than that which his father had faced, or his father's father. In 1956, in fact, there was little to suggest that out of this provincial seaport would come four young men and a musical revolution that would captivate and change. We're literally in the core of Guelph here. What kind of nonsense is this? Here is Yorkshire Street. Okay, let's go back over to Paisley. Am I back? Let me know if I'm back yet. Okay, I'm back. Good, thank you. 
so much for my plan to walk along Liverpool Street. I just wanted to be like one of the Beatles, you know, I wanted to walk along Liverpool Street. Hey Marge, hello. Hey Neville, what's up? Took, yeah, I took the GO train. I have to find a penny lane. <laughs> huh. I found an Abbey Lane in Toronto. <laughs> Not quite <laughs> Abbey Road, but pretty close. <clears throat> hey, here's Megan's old high school, Guelph Collegiate Vocational Institute. Apparently she gets shudders of horror when she walks past this <laughs> school <laughs> to this day. <laughs> There was no pudding on Yorkshire Street. How disappointing. And there were no Beatles on Liverpool Street. And no internet also. Why is this bag so heavy? Hey, I see a super chat. Virginia Wedlake, a $5 super chat. Thank you very, very kindly, Virginia. Puts another spring in my step, thank you. Your support is awesome. Hope you enjoy my adventure as I schlep this heavy bag across Guelph. Heading towards Megan's neighborhood. No shade and the sidewalk is completely blocked here. I think those kids are collecting empty empty pop cans going door to door. Mark, I'm in Guelph <laughs> on Paisley Street. I have not been to Liverpool, no. I've been to London and I've been to Folkestone and I've been to Brighton. I have not been to Liverpool. <laughs> I guess those dogs didn't like my gimbal. <laughs> Whew. Hey, Leona. 
Oh, you're welcome. I hope you enjoy the walk. Yeah, I'm doing all right. It's more the heavy bag rather than the heat that's troublesome. I figure this bag probably weighs around 35 pounds ish, maybe. It doesn't sound like a whole lot, but when you're carrying it for long distances, it can start to weigh you down. Here's Edinburgh Road. Look at that, another. <clears throat> Although, it's not spelled the same way, right? Edinburgh is spelled... Is there an Edinburgh also in the UK? With a B-U-R-G-H. Parched is here. Yeah, you're right, it is. Yeah, a lot of people are buying houses here. Is that the normal spelling? Okay, good. For some reason, I thought it was more like Edinburgh, like that. Edinburgh. So we are keeping with the theme of streets named after UK cities. Ah, shade. Hey, Toronto's do up music guy, what's up? The street needs more big shady trees. You think there'd be more? These ones are good. Maybe it's the Mandela effect that's making me think that when people pronounce the name of that city, they say Edinburgh and not Edinburgh. <laughs> That Mandela effect can mess with your mind. It's like the Berenstain Bears. It's not the Berenstain Bears, it's the Berenstain Bears.
Schlepping my way to Megan's house, hurrah, hurrah. Schlepping my way to Megan's house, hurrah, hurrah. It is pronounced Edinburgh. Ha! Huh, I knew it. Thank you. <laughs> Bay City Rollers. I remember them. When I was a kid, they were all the rage. <laughs> hey, Marge, $3.99. A&W Frozen Root Beer would hit the spot right now. It definitely would. Big time, Marge. Thank you. Thank you very much. I see you just got another signal notification. Thank you, Marge, for the super chat. I appreciate it. Yeah, I'm getting buffering because I'm in Guelph. Apparently, internet is not a a way of life here the way it is in Toronto. <laughs> they just use carrier pigeons to transmit information to each other here. Mark, I haven't had anything to eat yet. I literally got up and got ready. Like I slept in till, you know, 11-ish. Then I just got up, got ready, and headed straight out the door to Union Station. I haven't had a single thing to have yet. Once I get to Megan's. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, later, Whitby dude. Have a good day. That's what it feels like walking across Guelph. You love mashed potatoes? Me too. I think Megan's got some yummy meals planned for me. She was all excited to tell me what she wanted to make. <laughs> the Guelph Death March. <laughs> Kind of feels like it. Shade again. Ugh. Ugh, 
look back to see how far I've come. <laughs> Nancy, yeah, I think she, I think she knows that she's well liked amongst the continuum community. <laughs> How far is her place? Still quite a ways to go. I'm thinking this will be at least a two hour stream just to get me to her place. Is the forklift even street legal? <laughs> Probably not. Ridgewood Avenue, so we're not seeing the UK city names anymore. Oi. Oi, ve. Vault, can the guy get some shade here? Maybe I'll do arm curls with my heavy bag as I go to get my daily workout in. What time do I have to be there? Well, I don't really have any time to be there by. I'll get there in time, well ahead of time. In any case, we don't have to head out until the evening. So I can just walk at whatever pace I like here. Hey, Devin, you miss me complaining about the lack of shade. Sleeman Avenue, that's a familiar name in Guelph. Like the Sleeman family. Don't they have like a big brewery or something like that? Hey, Maureen Bruce, hello, hello. <laughs> Slow through the shade, I know. Sometimes I just stop in the shade <laughs> and absorb it. Like right now. Uh, and then here's some sun. Oh no, run, 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 run. Back to the shade, back to the shade. Oh, uh, back to the shade. Oh yeah. But now there's a big, long stretch of sun. Oh no. I can't avoid it. There's the 10 Paisley bus, Guelph Transit to Guelph Central Station. That's where we started the stream, at Guelph Central Station. We'll take a cold Sleeman, yeah, right, Alan? <laughs> uh. 
Uh, where am I now? Silver Creek Parkway. All right, now I'm going to hang a right here. Maybe there'll be more shade walking in this direction, although I doubt it. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's any shade. Oh, there's a nice breeze though. I'll take that breeze. So I'm going to take this up to Willow Road. This is going to be a kind of a long stretch here. I think there's an old shopping mall that we'll pass by. It used to be a small indoor mall, but I don't think it is anymore. Need to carry a parasol, yeah. <laughs> Switch hands again. There we go. Did I wear it? No, I was never that into it to like actually geek out and wear like Star Trek uniforms and stuff like that. I like the shows probably as much as most trekkers do, but I just don't wear the costumes and that sort of thing. I just enjoy the show, and that's pretty much it. I don't need to immerse myself <laughs> in the lore in the world, the Star Trek world. <laughs> Hey, crikey, hello? Oh, here's a bit of shade. Hey, Michael Stern, hello. I'm in Guelph. There are some fire escapes in downtown Guelph, but there's definitely none around here. kind of in suburban Guelph now. It doesn't take that long to walk from the old core of Guelph to the suburban part of the city. And no cosplay for me. <laughs> no cosplay for me. The grass is very nicely trimmed around here, though, I must say. 
I must say. Look at this grass. Look how nice it is. I mean, for grass. Another spot of shade. Ah. Uh, uh. Hey, Sam Ronald. Yeah, there might be more shade on the other side, right? Dagnabbit, why am I on the sunny side? Ugh. Should I just run across? Eh, look at all the traffic though. We're schlepping across suburban Guelph, hurrah, hurrah. We're schlepping across suburban Guelph, hurrah, hurrah. This is starting to feel a little bit torturous. Just a little bit. Hey, it's Sleeman Park. Another Sleeman thing. Is that Willow Road up there? Please let that be Willow Road. That would make me happy. Because once I get to Willow Road, that's the last leg of the journey. I don't need a gym, I know. I'm carrying a 35 pound bag. It is Willow Road, yay, all right. I'm happy. Yeah, I'm taking this stream as close to Megan's house as I can. There's the old mall. I mean, it's still there, but it's not an indoor mall anymore. I don't think it is anyway. There's one of those old 1970s small indoor malls that a lot of small cities have. It's 
right? We are in the royal city. Willow West. That's what it is. Willow West Mall. Not really a mall anymore though, so they took off the word mall. Now it's just Willow West. <laughs> On the last leg of the journey. I haven't collapsed yet. I haven't been beaten yet. This heavy ass bag is not the boss of me, I am the boss of it. That's right. Later, two, seven, four, <laughs> etc., etc. <laughs> Have a good day. And I just saw another super chat roll in. Oh, it's going away. Hey, Nancy Mattis, another five dollars. Wow, thank you. Isn't Guelph named after a Christian sect that was in? Dante keeps going away. <laughs> Elliger's Divine Comedy. <clears throat> well, I don't think it was named after that, Nancy, but... But let's just say it was, <laughs> for, the, for the sake of the stream. <laughs> this is an old Corvette. <laughs> let's just say it was. <laughs> but thank you very much, Nancy, for... Another awesome $5 Super Chat. I just felt another spring in my step now. Just when the springs are disappearing, I get one back again. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I don't have any water on me. I'll be fine. I'm not like dying of thirst or anything. I'm actually good at going long distances and periods of time without, without water. It doesn't seem to bother me that much. Hey Yogi, how you doing? And George Howard, what's up? Can I cross here? I'm going, they're going, I'm going, even though the sign does not say walk. This is like the Hanlon Expressway. It's not a full expressway, it has signalized intersections, but it also has interchanges too. It wants to be a full expressway, but it's not quite there yet. <laughs> All right, we're getting closer now. Once you cross that expressway, you start to come into the realm of Meganland. So we are coming into Meganland. Oh, I saw another super. Mike Landry, five bucks. Are you back in Toronto for Canada Day? Yeah, I think I will be back for Canada Day. Mike, thank you very much for another five bucks. Very much appreciated.
Not sure what I'll be doing for Canada Day, but I guess we'll play it by ear. And I just got another spring in my step. There you go. Now that I'm in Megan land, <laughs> and awesome support. Now we're really in suburbia now. <laughs> Do we need to bring pizza? <laughs> I think Megan has something planned for me tonight that will get me off the pizza. Back on the sunny side, I know. I just can't seem to be on the right side of the street. Here's some shade here though. <laughs> Maybe she will. <laughs> Maybe she will, Andy. <laughs> Robin found something, taking it back to the nest. Really nothing of interest here, right, to look at. Maybe the odd old car is the only thing of interest to look at. <laughs> Rain Wonful, a one dollar super chat. Thank you very much, Rain Wonful. Thanks for providing another spring to put in my step. I appreciate it. It's Rhonda Road. Help me, Rhonda. Help, help me, Rhonda. Help me, Rhonda, yeah, get her out of my heart. That was the most interesting thing I've seen along Willow Road so far. Well, 
Very naughty, very naughty. Oh, is that right, Peter? Oh, that's interesting. Thanks for sharing that info. I just saw another super roll in. Two ninety nine from Alan K. Thank you, Alan. Got to keep those springs going. <laughs> yep. <laughs> you just <laughs> enabled a few more <laughs> with that support. Thank you very much, Alan. I need enough springs to get me to Megan, enough springs in my step. <laughs> and some more shade. Ooh, soak it up. Soak it up while I'm here. Let's check out my battery power. Uh-oh. Battery's getting low. It's kind of draining more quickly than normal. Usually I get to at least two hours before this happens with this warmer weather at least I'm gonna plug in my power bank Right. Go. All right. Let's see if it's working. Don't zoom in. All right. <laughs> go to Acton next. <laughs> I was already there. I passed through it on the way here. Don't really have any desire to go back there. <laughs> All right, can I hold my power bank and my gimbal in one hand? <sighs> and I was in Georgetown too. <laughs> I was in both those places. Hey, Nancy Camacho, hello. Hey, later, Scott. Thanks for checking out the stream. There's not a whole lot to act in. <laughs> it's kind of a blink and you miss it kind of place.
find a better way to hold this power bank and gimbal. Oops, oh no. Getting closer. Westwood Plaza. Something tells me this part of town is called Westwood. Just a hunch. We got a hill. Oh no. Hey, Sheena Roberts, hello, welcome. Welcome to my death march across Guelph. While carrying a very heavy bag. <laughs> With a poor air quality alert in effect. <laughs> the, the Guelph Death March 2023. We started in downtown Guelph. And now we're way in the West End here. <laughs> yeah, my mouth is feeling a little, my lips are a little bit dry right now, so it's kind of hard to whistle. Nice breeze. Am I gonna do it? Am I gonna make it? I think I can, I think I can. Will I be the little streamer that could? Take the bus or interesting live stream. Well, getting a transmission notification. We're in the suburbs. Can't expect reliable internet. Hey, later, Shavabalan.
You know, the great thing about doing this is once I've done it, I can just say, yes, I did that. And then I never have to do it again. <laughs> it's like climbing Mount Everest or something. I did that. <laughs> just because it was there. <laughs> Megan's house was there on the other side of Guelph. I can see like the end of Guelph up ahead. <laughs> I see like rolling hills that are completely empty, basically farmland. I'm almost there. <laughs> the number 10 bus, if I ever want to take the bus. Hey, George Howard. All right, have a good day. here for a minute in the forest yeah I'm going to encounter wildings anytime now I think wildlings yeah wildlings <laughs> I'll encounter some of those and there'll be dragons over there can I go Super sticker? Did I miss a super sticker? Let me. Oh! Rob MNR, three pound super sticker. Thank you very much, Rob. You just put another few springs in my step, helping me get across this hellscape, this suburban hellscape. <laughs> very much appreciated. Megan's not a fan of living here. Out in this part of town, you can see why, you know? Like living right in downtown Guelph, that would be different. That would probably be all right. But out here, bleh. Bus was empty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that 
dog was very happy to be carrying his toy, whatever it was. <laughs> What a sad little creek here. <laughs> well, I guess it's not so bad. Earl Brimblecombe Park. That's quite the name. Brimblecombe. Mitchell Woods Public School. Did Megan go to this school? She might have went to this school when she was a kid. I'm stuck in suburgatory. Get me out of here. Will I be stuck in suburgatory forever? It feels like it. Hey, Maroof, hello. Welcome to the endless expedition across the hellscape of suburgatory. Harder to hold this thing. There we go. Hey, Darlene Labadee, hello. Welcome to the most exciting live stream in the history of my channel. Look, we have exotic birds. I've never seen a flamingo in any of my Toronto streams, so hey, there you go. Hey kid, let me take your bike. Give me a lift. Let me ride on the handlebars, kid. Uh. 
Oh yeah, there's a Guelph police car. First one I've seen. Oh, I just saw another super roll in. Let me find a shady spot so I can read it. Uh, all right. Uh. Hey, Nancy Mattis, another $5. Thank you very much. Good news, bad news. Your brother made it to Berlin. And now heading to Prague. Bad news, all airports in New York, D.C., East Coast. Really, they're all shut down. Wow. That's some crazy weather going on over there. Well, I hope he is able to make it back for too long. Thank you once again, Nancy, for the $5. And for more springs in my step, getting me ever closer to Megan's place. the light turns green but the walk signal never comes on damn you Guelph <laughs> I can tell we're close to Megan's house because all these houses have the same style and they're the same age as her street basically the same developer i think built this area up here Check the battery. Came at 13%. Over two hours in. So thank you for sticking around, everyone who's uh, been watching this arduous journey for the last two plus hours. We're almost almost at the end and welcome to any new viewers to the channel I've been watching wondering what the heck I'm doing and am I crazy but in any case if you're enjoying hit the subscribe button and the like button and all that jazz and my next stream won't be in the suburbs of Guelph it'll most likely be somewhere more interesting And uh, most of the time I'm in Toronto, so that's where you'll find the bulk of my adventures, walking around the big city of Toronto. Oops, sorry about the uh, buffering there, but the internet sucks here apparently. Uh, a bug flew in my eye. Why? <laughs> Get out of my eye. This is hardcore suburbia. You got that right.
as the air quality improved. It hasn't seemed that bad since I've been in Guelph anyway. Yeah, I'm still on Willow Road. Willow Road ends right here, I think. We walked along this road for quite a long ways. Let's go to the other side because there's more shade over there. So now we're on Tuvel. Whoops, I'm losing my power bank. It's starting to move. Twelve percent power. Oh my goodness. Might just make it <laughs> to Megan Street. Hey, good afternoon. Brad Palmer, what is up? You made it. You made it while I was still embarking on my arduous journey here. Walking across the end of civilization. Behold, is that, is that Megan Street I see? I think I see, I think I see it. <laughs> I think I see it. Whoa, hey Gimbal, not a good time for you to act up. Oh, geez. Sorry, people. The gimbal decided to crap out. There we go. Oh, I just saw another super chat. Nancy Mattis, another two dollars. Seeing rock in the suburbs. <laughs> How does that go, Nancy? <laughs> I don't even know who does that song. I could do my own version. <laughs> rock in the suburbs, rock in the suburbs of Guelph. Across the suburban hellscape. <laughs> I wish I knew the real song, Nancy, but thank you very much for another awesome super. Now you know we're really in the burbs, man. We got people mowing their lawns, the smell of grass in the air. The smell of gasoline from the stupid riding mower. All the usual nonsense. <laughs> Hey, fire horse. <laughs> but you know what? This is Megan Street and I'm approaching her house. So I made it, people. I made it. So I'm going to start wrapping up the stream. Let me find this shady spot here. 
And we can look at another exotic bird. <laughs> oh, so I made it all the way from downtown Guelph to pretty much the edge of town here. So thank you all for joining me. I am ready to just crash in a hot, not a hot, a cool tub of water. <laughs> Maybe a cool tub of root beer. That's right. <laughs> so thanks for joining. Thanks for all the awesome comments, everyone. Thanks to the mods. Very much appreciated. Thanks to all those who sent support to the channel. Very, very much appreciated. Putting all those springs in my step, getting me across town. Given the horrendous conditions, and I can finally stop carrying this stupid bag now that I'm almost at my destination. Stupid heavy ass bag. <laughs> oh, Sheena Roberts, uh, last minute super chat, five pounds, have some ice cream. Wow, thank you. Thank you very much for that. Sheena Roberts, I appreciate it. Anything cold sounds good right now. <laughs> so check out tomorrow evening. I'll be premiering a video on my channel on the usual time. I hope you can all catch that. And I'll be doing another stream within the next uh, couple of days. So keep an eye out for that. All right. Whoops. Ah. <laughs> uh. Thank you, everyone. <laughs> I'll see you all again soon. Until next time, I will continue. And have a great rest of the day. All right, now to go and jump in that cool tub full of root beer. Bye, everyone. Subscribe, like, and share. I almost forgot. All that good stuff. All right. Bye, everyone.